A department opened in 1974, making us one of the first dedicated computer science departments in the country. In fact, we started with a single PDP-11 computer attached to teletype machines for output. The Department of Computer Science is entirely contained within the Hassel Bay building, which underwent a £5 million internal refurbishment in 2011. One of the biggest benefits of being self-contained is that our students have a strong feeling of having a home department. The Hassel Bay building consists of four floors. The lower two floors of the building are open 24 hours a day to students. The upper floors are available till early in the evening. On the third floor, which is the top floor, we mainly have the staff offices and several meeting rooms after the refurbishment. All staff offices were shrunk to create bigger common open areas for greater student-staff interaction. It is also possible to meet with academic members of staff in the open areas or in their offices if any problems or queries arise during teaching. The whiteboards you see on the pillars are freely used by both students and staff. On the corners of this floor near the kitchen area, there are two meeting rooms. The meeting rooms are used for a wide variety of functions, from student group work to research seminars by our varying the research divisions to industrial collaborations. Students can book meeting rooms if they want to work in groups and students can also work quietly using the tables on this floor, which becomes popular at exam time because it is quieter than the library. In addition, there is another large research lab in the central section, where research on distributed computing, including cloud and edge computing, and particular networks takes place. Here you can see a view of Loughborough, the School of Business and Economics, SBE, which contributes to the teaching of many of our programs is over the road. The railway station is only a short bus ride from campus. Further ahead on your left-hand side, the building that had the weathering on the roof is the Heisman Building, where main university admin departments are housed. A lot of people don't know it was originally one of the halls of residence. This is our networking lab. In our department, we have research focusing on distributed computing and particular networks. The work conducted here includes theoretical modeling of computer networks and model verification using computer simulation. We also have a well-resourced network test bed, which consists of a small cloud comprised of 16 powerful servers and an edge compute cluster comprised of 300 Raspberry Pis. The test bed gives us access to complete end-to-end -end programmability. On the second floor, we have many PhD students and research staff in various legal offices and a few members of academic and support staff. This is generally a quiet area, but students do sometimes come to this floor to speak to individual PhD students, who are also our lab demonstrators if they have questions relating to labs or fits on which PhD students are assisting. There are also two meeting rooms near the open area bookable by students. This floor is also home to a robotics lab. In this lab, we are conducting projects in robotics and AI, and computer vision, etc. We have different robots with the latest NVIDIA embedded AI boards. Now robots, Intel RealSense cameras, we also have service robots to help elderly people. We also have a number of deep learning computers with the latest NVIDIA GPUs. The first floor is home to the university's IT service for the School of Science, led by IT manager Rob Bradley. Due to its close vicinity to computer science, both staff and students are frequent visitors for IT support. The computer science reception has been retired as a result of the university-wide restructure, administration for the School of Science, which computer science is part of, occurs in the newly refurbished Spillfield building next door as you can see from outside the windows. There is also an open area where students can work in groups. This is available 24-7 to school students. This is our seminar room, N112, which can hold up to 75 people. We use this place to disseminate cutting-edge research, findings, and development. We also use this room in support of competitions, seminars, and guest talks. We encourage both undergraduates and postgraduate students to attend optional events to learn additional knowledge beyond regular lectures.
The ground floor contains labs M001, M002, and M003, which are used exclusively by School of Science students, and mostly by students from the Department Computer Science. With 100 computers in total, these computers are Macs that are triple boot systems, with Windows, Mac OS, and Linux, so that students get experience with a wide variety of operating systems. The ground floor also contains labs M004 and M005, which are open to the whole university with 80 computers in total. These are Windows PCs. Students also have access to cloud-based systems, including a Linux in the cloud service, email and document sharing provided by Microsoft. The labs have connected audiovisual equipment allowing the lecturer to speak with students in all labs concurrently. The open area is a student working area, which is open to everyone. There are two desks with big TV screens. Laptops can be connected to TV screens for group work. 